Just two hours ago, study came out involving Bay Area women. The question was just how much lipstick and lip gloss do women use? And what is that doing to women's health? KPI X5's Juliet Goodrich with what's in the lipstick mm -hmm. and how much, maybe too much. This is no fooling, right? It's not. Researchers actually tested 32 different kinds of lipsticks and glosses, and they found levels of nine metals in them, all of them containing lead. They have yeah. like 35 different colors. Lori Lamantia is like many women. I use lipstick and then I'll put lip gloss over it just for a little extra sheer. Where lipstick is their lifesaver, or is it? Yeah. Do you wear lipstick? Does this surprise you? You're still smiling with this news. <laughs> well, it doesn't surprise me for sure. I mean, everything that we're doing these days is bad for us. So. I take it your favorite color is pink? Yeah. Researchers say it's not the color you wear or brand you buy that's a potential health concern. It's how often you use it and ingest it. Heavy usage is considered more than a dozen times a day of lipstick or lip glosses. Probably use lipstick like 20 times a day. We definitely need to be look at this more seriously. Dr. Katherine Hammond, professor of environmental health sciences at UC Berkeley, conducted the study and says high use could result in overexposure to aluminum, cadmium, manganese, chromium, and lead leading to nervous system toxicity and stomach tumors. They can co collect in the kidneys and actually lead to renal failure. Cadmium is particularly stands out in that context. Previous studies have found metals in cosmetics, but this one measures how much is actually absorbed into the body. It's a little scary, like I don't really like it. I just feel they like make things about it all the time and they say things all the time about, oh, this is bad for you now, so I kind of just disregard it. All right, so what is the average use of lipstick per day? It's about two to three applications. I can tell you, Ken, I use a lot more of that, especially in this job. And researchers say that even that can glean excessive exposure. They're calling for more regulations in the lipstick industry just to make sure that people stay safe. It's, you know, it's amazing what we can find in, in our things like cosmetics and household products mm -hmm. and everything out there has got a cost to it. All right, Juliet Moderation. Goodrich. Thanks, Juliet.